What's up YouTube? I'm back with a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I recreated Rick and Morty but Halloween edition. Stay tuned for this video. I'm going to be showing you guys the details as to how I paint this design. So guys, to start this video, I went ahead and I sketched out my artwork onto my nails. If you're familiar with my work, you guys know that I typically just look at artwork and I just freehand paint it on my nails and call it a day. But um, this set that I'm doing today is inspired by a sketch that I did a couple weeks prior um, to doing this acrylic set on my nails and I just decided you know what I'm gonna see if I can transfer some of my sketches onto my nails on an even smaller canvas And so this is trial and error guys So first off I want to say it is fine sketching out your designs on your nails If you need that guide go ahead by all means like who cares if you sketch out your designs It doesn't matter, but this just helps me know where I'm going to paint out um, Everything and give me an idea of what I am going to be doing so I don't really focus too much on the pencil work on my nails it's just so I can get an idea of what I'm going to do so when you are sketching out your designs on your nails don't focus too much on perfection because it's just going to be covered up with artwork so here you guys see I'm working on the Rick portion of my nails. You can see Morty at the top of my cuticles and typically when you guys see my sets, I like to have my sets look like portraits more so, more so than nails. So you'll see a lot of my pictures kind of like drag on to the next nail. So what I wanted to do this time, I always like to challenge myself. I wanted to draw Rick's face on my nails sideways. And I wanted to give him that dimension that I give Morty's face at the end of this video. So you'll see what I mean by that. Right now, I'm focusing very detailed on the line work. Like I said before, you don't really want to focus too much on the line work. But since I'm drawing Rick's face literally sideways on my nails you have to take in consideration that your nails your acrylic sets they do kind of have like a little edge they kind of round off to the side so i wanted to make sure that my line work was going to be straight throughout no matter where you look at my nails when they're aligned put together you can turn it to the side and you'll see rick's face looking silly and then you can turn it from another way and still see rick's face no matter which way you turn my my fingers where his face is at so that's something you really want to pay attention to when you are drawing on um your sets um, is to pay attention to the line work and make sure that it does go over the edges of the nails Carry out the art throughout the nail so that when you do turn your hand people can still see the artwork throughout So on to the fun part the acrylic painting so I'm going to be using Apple Barrel product today That's one of my favorite acrylic brands that I like to use when it comes to painting on nails at least I like to use Apple Barrel So the color that I'm going to be going in with is the aquamarine color and I'm going to paint Morty's face this color and also the Rick and Morty title is aquamarine color as well typically when I am painting if I'm using, for instance, the color aqua, aqua marine, excuse me, I would then, of course, paint his face. Then I would go on to the lettering. Why? Because I'm already using this color. The product is still wet. And I wouldn't want to be wasteful of the product. But for video reasons, I'm going to waste product, guys, so you guys can see everything that I typically do for my sets. But like I said, if I'm working with one color, I'll fill in that color wherever I need to in my artwork. And then when I go on to the next color, I'm filling in the color in wherever I want it on the artwork. So I like to work faster and smarter that way. And also I'm able to save my product and use product efficiently. So now I'm going to go into Rick's hair and I'm going to be going in with Apple Barrel Bright Magenta Color and I'm going to again fill in the outline that I drew on my nails of this design. So this is the very easy step of doing acrylic painting is literally you're just painting in 
where the line works are. Just like how you would color in a picture or coloring book, you're literally just putting in the color. The details is what comes at the end of doing your painting. That's what really brings your artwork to life is your line work. I really focus more so on my line work than I do my application of my acrylic paint because if my line work isn't precise, then my artwork kind of doesn't really pop as well. So not saying that acrylic application, acrylic paint application isn't important, it is, but line work really brings out your artwork. So that's something that I really, really focus on. But here, I'm just simply filling in the sketch that I did on my nails of Rick and Morty. Always keep in mind guys when you are using paint, when you're doing any type of artwork on your nails, make sure that you carry out your art onto the side of your nails as well because you don't want to just paint your artwork on the top portion of your nails and then you look at the side and there's no artwork that looks really tacky. So make sure that you carry out your artwork onto the sides of your nails as well. So now I'm going to go on to Morty's head. So what I decided to do was use that same color, that bright magenta color. And I also went in with flag red and I mixed the colors together to give that kind of like a pinkish reddish like tone to his skin color. I kind of wanted to give him that like 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 the demon like red bright color but a deep color and I didn't want to mix black with it so I went ahead with magenta and since flag red is very very bright it kind of settled it down just a little bit so that's what I mixed together to give um the complexion of Morty was that bright magenta and the flag red color so again i'm going to fill in the colors go around his eyes and things like that i do try to make sure that i stay inside the lines because it's easier you don't have to make corrections or anything like that so i do try to pay attention when i am going around eyes and mouths and things like that but when it comes to just filling out their face i do try to work at a faster pace just so that my product is applied evenly so one thing that I did a little bit differently um, with the Morty portion of my nails was I didn't apply the acrylic paint all the way to my cuticles like I did previously in like my Tally the Creator um, inspiration video um, and set as well. I used to apply my acrylic paint all the way to the cuticle but now I bring it down a little bit and even just a little bit past the acrylic just so that my artwork stays sealed when I apply my gel top coat. Okay, so this was a request. This was a request from one of my clients. She requested me paint. Um, I think his name was what's his name mr poopy butthole okay look i watch rick and morty myself but of course i'm not like a huge huge fan because i remember this character but i was like i do not remember his name being mr poopy butthole but okay we gonna rock with it so this was a request from one of my clients she wanted me to paint this on my nails um and so i decided to go ahead and paint him on the side of my pinky because i still wanted to show you guys like the nerds and the fruit loops i mean the fruity pebbles that i put in my nails so i do want to point that out um you guys have watched my nerd video i went back and i took off my pinky finger and i took off my thumb and i reapplied um the nerds in my nails but i also went in with um fruity pebbles as well inside my nails so it is a little bit different with this set than the um than the nerd set but i wanted to show the artwork so i wanted to draw mr poopy butthole on the side of my pinky so like let me turn my finger to the side you can literally see him like grinning at you but like if you're looking at it dead on you just see half his face so I really wanted to give like I really wanted to give my nails like that portrait feel where it's more like art than it is acrylic nails so that's one of the reasons why I drew his face sideways on my nails instead of directly on 
So the color that I'm using for Mr. Poopy Butthole is going to be the Yellow Flame and White Acrylic Paint by Apple Barrel. Mix the two together and you get that like banana light color. So on to the title Rick and Morty. So like I said in the beginning of this video, when you guys do watch a lot of my acrylic painting and things like that, I typically do not draw out freehand sketch out my designs and stuff. But since I wanted to make sure that I had the correct spacing, I wanted to make sure that Rick and Morty's name got the same amount of coverage on my nails. I went ahead and I just sketched out the letters R I C K and then M O R T Y. And I did didn't do it in the design I just did it in the spacing that I would need required to paint so um, on here you literally just see me painting the Rick and Morty like font on my nails that is the freehand part of this video um, when it comes to my lettering so I'm literally looking at a font on Pinterest um, you guys can check out my Pinterest page it's drippy nails but I'm looking at the font of Rick and Morty and I'm simply just transferring over the font onto the actual letter sketch that I have on my nail so that it looks like the same logo. So after I went in with the base aquamarine color for the Rick and Morty title, I then went in with lime green to do the outline. That's how you get that like glow effect for the Rick and Morty uh, logo. I used the lime green color and then what I said in the beginning of this video, line work. That's what really makes your art pop. So now I'm gonna go in and I'm going to do my line work to my art. So here you guys can clearly see the difference that line work does to your artwork. This isn't just with acrylic nails, this is with all types of art. Line work is very important. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the final touches on my designs, make sure that my line work is precise, go in and make some lines thicker or thinner in areas that I feel that need to be worked on a little bit. So that's what I'm gonna do in just a second before I get on to applying my matte top coat and my gel top coat. So what you see me doing right here with Mr. Poopy Butthole is I'm working on the line work. I'm making sure that the line of his head is distinct so you can literally see the shape, the outline of him. I'm giving detail, I'm bringing him to life with my line work. So right now I'm going in with my six millimeter brush and I'm just filling in and making the lines thicker where I feel like they need to be. I'm also gonna go in and apply um, different like drips and things to Morty's hair. I mean, not to Morty, to Rick's hair. Line work as to that. I'm gonna put lines on his head. I really wanted to bring as much life to this picture as possible. So I really wanted to focus on my line work with this set. So one thing that I did change about this set was Morty's, um, his left eye, so my middle finger. Instead of having the dizzy effect, I went ahead and I just painted over his eye. And I just painted the traditional Morty eye so that people could get a better understanding of what my nails were representing. Because I felt like the little collab that I had was going to throw some people off. So I decided to go ahead and paint Morty's left eye, my middle finger, just completely white. And then I just applied a simple dot so that you guys could better understand like who was at the top of my nails. Now, what I'm about to do, I was shocked that I was going to do it. I am going to work with gel paint. Oh my freaking gosh. Okay, so I decided to, yes, try gel paint to just to see if maybe I change my mind about it. And you know what? No, I don't. Like I said, gel is just not for me. So I went ahead and I made like little squiggly lines with like black and white gel, um, gel paint, gel polish, whatever. And just to give like a smoky effect, I was just trying to see what it would look like. Just trying to see if I would like gel and yeah, I don't like it. So one of the reasons why I don't like it is because I can literally feel the gel on my nails. Like I can literally feel how it's elevated. Like yeah, it's cool, whatever my artwork, but yeah, I'm not a fan of gel, but 
again i wanted to try it out for you guys and like i said before i hate it then i hate it now but it's on my nails today So this is what the set looked prior. Like I said, I changed his, um, I changed the left eye, my middle finger, his right eye. I changed the left eye on my middle finger to Morty's face, just so you guys, like I said, could have a better understanding as to who I was painting. So this is the final look of the Rick and Morty Inspiration Halloween set. I can't wait to show you guys what I'm going to be doing in the next two weeks. Halloween is all month long, so you know what that means. Two sets in October. So I can't wait to show you guys what I have in plan for my Halloween set. You guys are going to be like blown out of this world with what I have in store for you guys. So like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.